you guys welcome back to another video i am at cpx in tijuana I'm getting ready and i'm about to i don't know if you guys know what cpx is but you basically park like san diego side and then you go through this is kind of like an airport kind of that you go through walk through it let me show you guys You walk through it so you don't go through the bottom or the line or anything. It's kind of like a little airport on top. And then you avoid going through the line. You pay like 24 bucks for this. So we're getting ready to go to Guanajuato for the wedding, for my friend's wedding. Do you remember when I went to Cabo to the bachelorette party? So now this is the wedding. Hey, you guys. So we're here drinking at the airport. You guys, ya llegué, ya llegamos, we're here to Guanajuato, look at how pretty it is. You guys have to come visit Guanajuato. It's Guanajuato. It's really pretty, you guys. Miren esta iglesia, que bonita está. Bien bonito que está todo. I love it. Okay, you guys, so we came out to have dinner. And we're in, like, I guess, the plaza. So let me show you guys how popping it is. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, it's the next day. Uh, we went downstairs and we had a toast and coffee, but I barely put like my makeup really quick. Let me show you guys. I wanted to show you guys. I seen everybody bragging about this. I bought it and it works. Gives you good coverage if you're in a hurry. If you're in a hurry, do it. I came to cambiar dollar at the bank. Porque no cambio dólares. So you guys right now we're doing a tour. Uh, I'm not bringing you guys along on my tour. Miren que bonito. Que es el hotel que? Nice. Oh yes. Uh, el Castillo de Santa Cecilia. ¿Qué es donde nos trae? Este es el museo de la hacienda del cochero. Donde van a observar precisamente aparatos de tortura. ¿De tortura? Tortura. Cuadros, hologramas en tercera dimensión y un pequeño panteón clandestino. Ahí se sí me dice, por si algún aparato les gusta para alguien mucho muy querido en casa, pueden hacer. So I guess we're gonna go see these that don't know Spanish. I guess they're gonna show us stuff where they used to torture people and like machines and stuff. So much. This is a 1692 hacienda that was here in Guanajuato. These are the tombstones, yeah. Tombstones right here, and they're still there. From when? Look, you guys. 1692. 1692? Yeah. <gasps> what if this is haunted? Oh my goodness. So there's actually dead people here. I wait. You guys, this is how they would torture people, I guess. In here. Let me show you guys. How scary. And here was like a torture chair where they would put them so they could not kill them but just. Okay, so they would speak. Okay, so they would speak. Okay, so they would speak. Okay, Máquina donde ataban de tobillos y muñecas, tiraban la palanca a un lado y las cuerdas de arriba estiraban el cuerpo, causando desgarres internos y muchísimo dolor. Además, todo esto lo hacían mientras algunos observaban desde escenas en la pared, allá al fondo, como tortura psicológica. Y amigos, los castigos fueron también muy severos. A los culpables los mataban para limpiar los pecados de su alma, o eso pensaban. Vamos a conocer dos formas de ejecución acá a su mano derecha. Primero, vamos a ver acá al fondo, tocar directamente el corazón. El prisionero podía tardar dos días desangrándose lentamente hasta morir. Vamos a conocer también un garrote vivo. 
La rota viene es un instrumento muy parecido a una silla, pero que tiene una diferencia acá arriba. Hay un pico de acero a la altura de la nuca del prisionero y una palanca en la parte de atrás. Así que para castigar, se cerraba, giraba la palanca y el pico separaba las vértebras cervicales. Desnucaban en unos 20 segundos en promedio. Una de las formas más rápidas de matar que han existido. Sumergían la cabeza en una tina con agua sucia. No para matar, solo para interrogar 15 a 20 minutos dando vueltas y golpes. Lo regresaban a la celda vivos, pero con un problema, por el contacto a la boca con esa agua, para cuidar la castidad de chicas y protegerlas de ataques. La peor parte es que este material es metal. Al caminar con ellos se rozaban y cortaban la piel constantemente. Un poco más al frente, miren, acérquense todos los pasos hacia el frente. Vamos a hacer una línea en este sitio de la pintura de arriba. Tenemos fuerza en este punto, miren, vamos a hacer un saque de pintura más alto. Ok, guys, and here they would put four or five people in there and leave them to die. In these cages. Ya entraron a dulcería. I already tasted all the candies, you guys. They give you like little samples of candies, and these are my favorite cocadas. I love these. They're like milky cocadas. And I took my mom cajeta because she loves cajeta de vaca, because no me gusta la de chivo. Ya le llevo a mi mamá sus goodies y a gordo. Y a ver qué más les llevo. We got two boca mina San Ramón. Pórtate bien. Oye, pido un preso, San Ramón, te pido que me saques de prisión lo más pronto que se pueda. También se le considera santo patrón de las mujeres que están embarazadas. Porque su maga de llave representa un milagro por una oración que dice, Señor San Ramón, pon un candado a cualquier hablador que con o sea, su lengua boca. de víbora hable mal de mí. O sea que San Ramón es el santo del tapón de la boca. Y aquí se le considera como el patrón de la gente chismosa, golpea, mitotera, encajosos, flojos, drogueros, malcriados, burros a la escuela, borrachos y marihuanos. Él me dice, San Ramón, te pido que le tapes la boca a mi suegra, vieja, chismosa, encajosa, y se dice, recen, cuelga tu llave, y la suegra se va a quedar muda, ya no los va a acompañar, háganlo, y esto se garantiza ante notable. En lo alto, tres ventanas. El viento entró, pegó, bajó, oxígeno dio, y el viento dio. Con cuidado por nuestro lado derecho. Ya me puse mi casco. Ah, uh, I had to put this on, because you know I look like an idiot. They just climbed all these stairs. Hoy hay ocho minas. Esas minas, en cada mes, meten malla y unas barras de cero. Se siente calor. Ya me voy para arriba. I'm gonna go back up because I cannot feel like I can't breathe from being down here. I recommend if you guys come here to put the helmet on because you hit your head on top of the. Esa mina fue un castigo de... Que Dios los bendiga. Esa fue un castigo. Ok, guys, so now I'm about to show you guys what they do en Guanajuato. It's a tradition when somebody gets married. I guess en Guanajuato, when somebody gets married, they do that like, eh, for nada. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. Come with me. And this is what they served us. Uh, my tickets enchiladas con papas. It is so good, guys. You guys, look at what I brought. Okay, so a lot of, if you guys are from Monacuato, what they do is it's called a caminada. And it has to do with this. Let me show you.
Ay, 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 canta. Ay, 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 canta. Y no llores. Y no llores. Bonito, bonito. Ay, ay, una. Al ritmo de la música. Una. Dos. Tres. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so today is the wedding day. We're in a rush, like always. It wouldn't be us, well, be me, because my daughters are not here today, but. So we're walking to where we're gonna go get picked up to leave. We have to walk all this the plaza to get to where we're gonna get picked up. It just, just messed up all my hair con el calor. ¿Y ese nalgón qué? Oh my god. Wow. It's a statue, guys. You guys look at how pretty this is this is a church beautiful it's really nice huh it's beautiful Hermosa. Okay, I made it for one thing what's going on with my hair. I had it pinned up and it was kind of windy and everything just came up. So I'm like, whatever. Yeah, me una michelada. So. Mm, so good in Mexico. ¿Qué son? Quesadillas. Quesadillas con chile. Mmm. Okay, guys. So today is the next day after the wedding. It's today Saturday. My vacations are almost over. Come Monday, we're leaving. We're gonna go eat media tacos. <laughs> They're so good, guys. Who else likes these sodas? from Mexico, but they have to be in this glass container because those are the best. The vidrio tacos here, fire. The quesadillas. Guys, I forgot to show you guys my vidrio tacos. This is what's left of it. You guys, I went back, um, I went back to my room to go get the patio because now we're gonna go to the mercado. I'm sorry, you guys, I had like such a breakdown because I'm seeing all these dogs and no food, no nothing. So I'm just so heartbroken and sad. Um, so I just want to leave the dog food. Okay, so what I'm doing is that I'm buying dog food. 
to leave for the dog so that they could feed him. Tú me le vas a dar de comer, ¿verdad? El perrito. You guys look at this comidita, pero no. We're gonna go. Where are we going? To the pupila? That's what it's called? Is that what it's called? The pupila. The pupila. And we're gonna take this trolley. Say hi, guys. Say hi. We're going up. Let me show you guys how pretty it looks. Miren mi michelada. Wow, mi guys, it's so good. This michelada is very good. Oh, it's so good. Bien buena que sale michelada. Ten out of ten. You guys, look at how pretty Guanajuato. So beautiful. Hey you guys, welcome back to another day. So today's Sunday and we're going to San Miguel de Allende. It's beautiful there, I've heard. So I'm I'm excited. That's what I wanted to do when I wanted to go to Las Momias. But I think Las Momias ya no se me va a hacer. Let me put my glasses on because it's hot here. So that's where we're going right now. Um, today's the last day of us doing anything because tomorrow we're leaving. Ya se me acabaron las vacaciones, so I'm sad. But, yeah, I'll take you guys along. And we're here. We we just arrived to San Miguel de Allende. So I'm gonna show you guys how pretty this place is. Oh, yes, it's so nice. You guys, that church is beautiful. Where's Camino Sacra? Yeah. So, look at Hey, you guys. That's big. You guys, San Miguel de Allende is beautiful. Oh, Where'd you get your set at? Yeah. Hang around with me and I'll tell you all the deals. So, Ross. So, I have one. This is Shein. So, I brought you guys to San Miguel de Allende. Beautiful place so far. Um, what do you guys think about this? This place is actually located in Guanajuato, so I recommend you guys coming here. I've heard wonders about it, so I can't wait to explore. You guys, I want to show you guys what this is, Mojigangas. Tell us the story in back of this. My tourist guide here. <laughs> People claim that at one point they roamed the earth. People that tall. Or even taller. Or even taller. Oh, wow. Let's see. Of course, Daniela. I can't even the way I'm going to show you the church. How the church is amazing. Of course, it's beautiful. You guys look at that. That old couple so cute. And this is how you go to the restroom here in Mexico. <clears throat> you put the coin in here. Son cinco pesos to go to the restroom and then you can go in. Because if not, it doesn't let you. You guys don't want a hamburger? Where are we guys at? Where are we at? We have a burger stand here. This girl. We're be eating fries and burger. We can sit to where we're just eating out in the street. We didn't go to a fancy restaurant. How was your Coke? Delicious, delicious. How do you girls feel without eating? <laughs> How do you feel, brother? We are going to eat Bidia tacos near our hotel. Oh, is that what you guys want? So delicious. I don't know about that. We're waiting for the guy to pick us up. Here comes Marbella. We lost her for a little bit, but we found her. Hey, Zari. Marby, so where were you? This is her. You guys, the señor que nos iba a recoger, nos hizo caminar como una mía, nomás que no se lo puse porque I don't want to bore you guys with that, but we're tired right now.
we got to the spot where Jose Alfredo Jimenez was not, which is a very popular singer from Mexicans from Guanajuato. Let me show you guys. I'm about to chase the one that piña colada. I'm not good at drinking mezcal. See, mezcal. But where I'm at, el pan pizza. Oh, it's pizza. 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 What does it say here? Okay, in este panteón, in this cemetery, is where they buried Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Wow. You guys, this is the tumba de Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Miren. Miren lo que me agarré unas papitas. Mm. Hola. Gracias. Gracias. Ya me están esperando para subirme. They're waiting for me to get on the camión. Andale, ropas. Please call. Please anda. El jardín. De what? This city, this city is known for ice cream. Las nieves. So these are all the chicharrón. Aguacate, queso, ceviche. Yeah. Why? I love this. So good. Hey you guys, welcome back to my last day. Today is Monday and it's my last day in Guanajuato. Um, I'm trying to find some boots for Brianna and a belt for my dad's guitar. You guys come on the vacation as my vacation is over and let me see what I can find. Okay, you guys, I am done. I bought Brianna her boots. Let me show you guys. And I bought me some. <clears throat> my dad's belt for his guitar I couldn't find because he said I had to go somewhere else. I guess there's a place for the musicians and I, and I don't know where it's at, but I don't have time to see. We're leading back to the airport, so my cousin's coming from Mexico, so lo van a cargar a él. Um, let me show you this. So, these are my, it's just a little glimpse, a little glimpse of Brianna's boots. I'll show you guys later. You guys, I had to pull out the boots out of the, I put the boots in the maleta and I had to pull it out because I was over 50 pounds or so. Now, I will have to carry the boots. It's crazy the way you board in Mexico, they could make you go up the stairs versus Los United versus LAX. Guys, my vacation's over. It was fun. What can I say? Uh, I didn't get drunk drunk, but I did have a couple of drinks. I was scared to get to be on over, but uh, overall I had a great trip. It was so much fun. Can't wait to do it again. Here I go down there, we're being pushed back. You guys, I arrived to TJ. We're going to see you. You guys, I have made it home. I'm so happy to see my mom, my son, and my dogs. Um, I must say one thing I miss about the U.S. are the little things, for instance, like the toilets that have seat covers. You don't get that in Mexico. And little things like that. Um, you, sometimes there's only so much Mexican food you can do in Mexico when you start missing your hamburgers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.